If you're looking to take your sports photography to the next level, there's five things that I would try and focus on. Firstly, you should know what the limitations of your equipment are. This particularly means knowing what the limitations of your lens are, knowing what aperture size you have, knowing how fast a shutter speed you can get, because this with sports photography is crucial. Particularly if you're shooting at night, light is an issue. You'll be under stadia light, and even though it looks bright to you, through the camera it's a lot darker. For example, if you're using a slower lens, you weren't able to fork out the 13 grand for the beautiful Canon 400mm 2.8, then know what your camera can do. I'm shooting off a Tamron 100 or 400. It's versatile, but the problem is, is it is a bit slower. But I know the shots that it can take. It's very good at capturing the celebration after someone has scored. It's very good at capturing the ball sitting in the net. It's very good at capturing the players coming out, the emotion between them. It's not so good at trying to shoot the ball rocketing through the air. So if you know the limitations of your equipment, you're able to get the best shot. And you also know what shot to anticipate for. And the best way to learn your limitations is just to shoot, shoot like crazy. You'll see what shots don't work. Every game has a storyline. It's been said that sport is really the soap opera for the modern age. With your photography, it's important to capture those storylines. If there's someone that's just come back from injury, you know, if there's someone that's on the verge of national selection, they're the people that others are interested in. So make sure you target those guys and get it. And maybe there's, you know, a history between two players and they grew up playing together. Or there's a history of animosity against two players playing on opposing teams. Look for opportunities where those people are together and capture that story with your photography. It's too easy to just focus on the players and to think that that's where the best shot is. But often it's the crowd that provides the colour and the context for what you're trying to shoot. It can be a beautiful little girl holding up a sign for the Matildas at one of their games, or it can be a guy crying after his team concedes the losing goal. Don't forget your crowd. Try and find those moments that are reflecting the story of what's happening. Look for moments where the players interact with the crowd after a moment as well, whether that be full time and they're signing autographs, whether it be during the game and they're rushing to the crowd after they've scored the winning try. Capture those moments, because ultimately people want that relationship with the game and with the athlete. And by capturing the crowd having that, it helps the person share in that moment. You may be just trying to take your sports photography up to the next level, but don't sell yourself short. Clubs need media support. Speak to your local football club, speak to your local surf club. You'll find that there's a lot of opportunities for you to get out there and actually put your skills to use. By partnering with a club, you'll get improved access to the grounds and to the players to capture better photos, but also you'll have an avenue in which you can share your best work. And nothing will help you improve by helping get your work out there and getting feedback from others. And also that's what you'll be showing to people when you really do try and take it to the next level and become a professional. Once you get on the field, don't be shy to talk to professionals that'll be there as well. Look at the kit they're using, ask them why they're using it, ask them how they use it. Ask them how they remotely trigger their camera that they have behind the goals. They're there to help. They all started as enthusiast photographers as well, and they will help you. You can learn a lot from these professionals that do it as their job day in and day out. Thanks for watching, I'm Peter First. Don't forget to like and subscribe.